Well, our next guest has traveled the world singing and leading people of all denominations in praise and worship. Yet at one time in his life, he actually considered becoming a priest. Take a look. Open the eyes of my heart, above all, and your name. These are just a few of the songs that have made Paul Balash one of the most popular worship artists and songwriters of our time. Many of his songs are among the most sung in churches worldwide. In his latest CD, Glorious, Paul continues his legacy of music, drawing millions of believers closer to God. Please welcome back to the 700 Club, Paul Balash. It is great Thanks, to have Mary. you here. Thank you. Just hearing that music kind of stirs you. <laughs> yeah. Talk to me about the process of how God births that in you. What do you go through in creating a worship song that's not just between you and God, but for the body of Christ? Right, right. I, I guess two components. You're always looking for that that inspired moment, and it usually happens in the midst of worship. I'm a worship pastor at my church for the last 20 years. And so you're looking for those phrases or little things that kind of come out of my mouth or I'll hear someone else praying and I'll think, man, that's something we need to say to the Lord. And so then from that point, I try to prayerfully put together, put in a song that others can sing and it's mainly in my local church. And then over the years, it's been fun to just see songs spill out from my local church and end up on cds and other people singing them does it seem weird to you when you're in your car and you turn the radio on and it's you <laughs> it does yeah it feels like it feels like a grown child it's like it feels like one of your kids that has grown up and gone off to college yeah. or and you're like oh yeah i remember you I remember when you were born you know <laughs> <laughs> you you grew up in the Catholic Church, and there was mm-hmm. a point in your life where you actually thought about becoming a priest. Right. You said something that I have always said also as someone who grew up in the Catholic Church, mm-hmm. that out of that background came a real awe mm-hmm. and reverence for the Lord. Yeah. How important is that in what you do musically? I think very important. I mean, I'm grateful for the foundation that was laid in my life, and my parents were very sincere in, in their pursuit of the Lord in, in that way. And uh, But... I was missing a heart connection and started to stray there for a bit in my late teen years. And um, I, I just you know, I just remember having that God encounter where I just asked the Lord to come into my life. And there was just something happened in me, in my spirit. And I just it felt like it became alive. And I thought, well, I would love to still be involved in music, but music that maybe has the potential to encourage people in their walk with the Lord and so it's just been a dream come true. Um, I don't even know how I've gotten to still be able to do this. But I look back 20 years and go, how did you do this, Lord? But the, the goal has always just been to encourage people through music. You know? Well, you mentioned that you've been worship leader at your church for 20 years. Mm-hmm. How do you keep that fresh? That's a great idea. I think that's the primary responsibility that I feel is to keep my own heart fresh in the Lord. And my wife and I and I have three children, and, and we just try to make it real at home and just try to keep God as the center of our home, the center of our discussion, just bring God into the everyday stuff of life, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah. so that it doesn't become a religious thing, but it's a relational relationship 24-7, you know, dialoguing, talking with the Lord, and yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, I'm sure, just like you. <laughs> Tell me about your latest release. It's called Glorious. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, uh, a lot of the songs were birthed in, in our home church, a lot of the ideas, and then kind of worked through with my band. And um, uh, some some of the songs, a lot of them are specifically taken from New Testament themes, uh-huh. because I feel like a lot of the songs that we sing kind of form our theology, mm-hmm. whether, yes. we, whether we like that or not. It's just yeah. true. The songs that we sing kind of create an, Im- an image of how we see God and our theology. So I was trying to be a little bit more intentional about mm-hmm. putting some New Testament yeah. ideas and concepts so that as people are singing these songs, they're getting the word of God and the heart of God yeah. into their soul. I, I was reading some of what you'd said about um, wanting people to look deeper into Jesus and, mm-hmm. and you know, not, not always just looking back at what Christ has done for right. us, certainly not forgetting that, but going to a deeper place in the now and tomorrow yeah. with him. Well, the, the song Glorious kind of speaks to that, that, the Apostle Paul didn't, he didn't know the earthly Jesus. Mm -hmm. The Jesus that he knew and that he encountered was the Jesus that you and I know, the risen, 
resurrected the living God that we can have a relationship with. So it kind of explores that idea of, as Paul says, that this is the great mystery, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Mm-hmm. And so that, that's kind of what that's about. It is a great mystery. I'm going to let you move over to the music okay. set, if you will, and tell people about what you're going to do for great. us. It's great to great. have Thank you, you here. Terry. Thank so you, Terry, so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, we look thanks. forward to hearing from okay. your new release. And, you know, many of you, I know that worship is a huge part of your relationship with the Lord, and it really is something that draws us to a deeper place in him. And Paul's the person who has been gifted with helping us to get there from here. Sometimes life infringes on that, so it's wonderful when we can really get away with the Lord. And this new CD called Glorious is something that will help you to do that. You're going to recognize Paul's style on here, God's style being used through him. This is available wherever music is sold. And we want to say now, here's Paul Balash singing Just to Be With You from his release called Glorious. my heart would you fill me up I'm face to the ground forsaking my pride leaving my will my burdens behind all I want all I need is just to be with you just to be with you here I am at your feet just to be with you just to be with you and I have come to the end of me and there's nothing I have to bring But you said I belong You say I am yours Nothing compares to knowing you more All I want, all I need Is just to be with you Just to be with you Here I am at your feet Just to be with you, just to be with you. Oh, you made a way for me. Oh, Savior, I'm yours forevermore. All I want, all I need is just to be with you, just to be with you. Here I am at your feet, just to be with you, just to be with you. All I want, all I need is just to be with you, just to be with you. Here I am at your feet, just to be with you. 